abalone is the most expensive crustacean in the world, and a quarter of all abalone in the world comes from Tasmania. While Ross and Tom are in town wrecking the mysterious surf break of dangerous banks, local abalone fisherman Phil Critchlow offers to take the boys on a fishing trip with a difference. Got him, I got him, I got him. <laughs> we're gonna go catch some abalone. Yeah, I'm sort of excited. Not a big crustacean eater myself, personally, but um, I'll keep an open mind. Oh look, get ready, Carol, what's wrong with you? <laughs> we're all waiting on you, again. What do we need now? Goggles? Do I need a spear gun or something? Spear gun, yeah. yeah you need a spear gun. You need a spear gun. You do, you need a spear gun. Here it is, boys. We just got a nice little rock pool here where we can get something for tea and have an abalone. So you blokes know nothing about abalone. I've never seen one, never smelt one. You'll see a round thing like that with a shell on the back with a bone. Like an oyster. Similar. No, stick to a bare patch of the rock. Right. And the idea is to use your knife, come along and just, you'll see there's a little gap where he's stuck on the rock, you slide that underneath, or like that, and press down and leave him up. Okay. And you'll just, you'll just pop up. Do they bite? No, they don't bite. They don't bite? They don't bite at all. This is going to be fun now the set, when the set comes. I did all this like that myself when I was about 10, 11 year old and I spent three years commercially doing it, snorkel like that, around the rock pools and up to 30 feet. Lungs like Arnie Schwarzenegger after doing that. It's the best thing for uh, fitness training, snorkeling. Hey! How you talking, Buck? I heard him say there were two there, bring the other one too. That's ab abalone, rubra, black lip they're called. That was interesting, I mean I, I couldn't even see the abalone down there until it was pointed out to me. So well camouflaged under there. And you know the technique, you think hey just pick it off. But if you fool around like I did, I couldn't quite get under the thing sucked on like with so much pressure under the rock that it was stuck on there, I couldn't get it off. Funny looking things, I've never seen an abalone. Does it have feelings? It's got teeth. Yeah. Oh, they're down inside there. And what about its brain? Oh, uh, they're not, they're not not sure maybe it's communicating with the it. aliens. Make it's it got it. your finger. Hang on. That, that thing. <laughs> what a, ah. No, it's got you. It's got two teeth like a rabbit. Oh. Like a rabbit? That, that's and, that's where it's stomach beauty, is. Isn't it? hey, that's yeah, the muscle that's that sticks to the bottom of the shell. Oh, there it is. Yep. This thing. Best way I've found to get the full taste of them initially is to um, eat them like the Japanese do, raw. And that just entails a bit of wasabi and soy, and very thinly sliced. This one's a fairly young ab we've got, so it should be fairly tender. Mmm. Mmm. So this shot. Yes, go. What do you do? Slow. Yeah, get a nice bit of like a water shishimi. Just yeah. go. Go. Yeah. You're in. Nice, huh? Like chicken. <laughs> Tastes like chicken. It is pretty good. I don't see the hoopla about abalone. People's acquired tastes, I guess. I'm allergic to them for a start, so that didn't help. Got an itchy throat. <coughs> it's within seconds. Leave it till then, you reckon? 